The reason we live is to find the creator, the divine within. We are the caretakers of the planet, and we have this life to find the divine within, which is there, right here in our soul. Hey, my name is John Anderson. I sing with the band called Yes. Take a straight and stronger course to the corner of your life. Woo. Make the white queen run so fast. She hasn't got time to make you a wife. That's one of the songs we're famous for. I didn't start playing guitar till pretty late. I think I was 23. And this is one of the first things I ever did. This is E, the key of E. And I just, just slid the guitar phrase up there. And a song came out which became very famous for Yes. Flying high above Shine your wings Warmer to the sun In the 60s, early 60s, I was with a group with my brother called the Warriors and uh, we wanted to be Beatles. That's all we wanted to be. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah I do it out of a reggae song, you see. Because I went to Jamaica in uh, 71, and so Bob Marley and reggae was seriously good. I actually do it on stage with a Yes song, which is, uh, Yes song is, um, There's a time, and the time is now, and it's right for me. It's right for me, and the time is now. And at the end, I sing, she loves you, yeah, yeah. And when Yes started, we had perfect energy within us. It was just the band in harmony, connected. In the early days of Yes, we were singing about don't kill the whale. It was only a statement that don't kill everything around us. Don't destroy this world because we have to live on it, you know, to so be, be a gardener or, you know, nurture the world. When I would go to, to the group with a song, I'd play my guitar, which is very simple, simple ideas. Which was a song called And You and I. Man conceived the moments, answers to the dream. Very simple idea, you know? People would come to our tours and, and tell us that, you know, your music's changed our lives, you know? that over the years that you've, you've been a part of so many people's uh, everyday life. Music is a very powerful energy. I'll be the round about the words will make you out and out. These days, I still do open guitar part ideas. This is a song. This was the last album Yes did. Standing here on sacred ground. Some days it's a sad world, let it be. So I think the simpler the idea of the chords, the easier it is to write a melody. Once you get into very complicated chord sequences, but with Yes, you know, I was able to do complicated chord sequences with Steve, because he's very good at it. So I'd say, Steve, can you play about four to five different chords and he'd play them. I said, keep playing them and he's so easy to do, you know, change key, oh yes. Yeah. And then I'd write a song on top of it. Though you've seen that, please don't say a word. Woo. If you're inspired by anything, you want to put it into musical form. The big hit record that we had, 90125, it was our first, I would say, legitimate hit record, an owner of a lonely heart was sort of number one around the world. It was a breakthrough for, especially for Yes. Making music now is the same as making music in the 70s, the 80s. It's the same experience. You just pick up the guitar or sit at the piano and something comes out. We have to share this beautiful planet. We have to share it with a, a humbleness, you know?